Okay, this is Dragon of Eternity, and welcome back to Pokemon White. Now, in between episodes, I had done a little bit of catching. So, oops, I've got my figures on the wrong buttons there. So yeah, I had caught a Tranquil and a Dealing, which I call DOE. So yeah, it's like DOE, female deer. You know, the whole song from Hills All Life at the Sound of Music. Right, so you wanted a Dealing last episode, didn't you? Uh huh. Here's your summer Dealing. Oh, it's spring. Why do I think it was summer? Dealing spring form! The lust of its body and its colouring is like a flower field in the spring. The scent emanating from it is also very floral. Thank you so much. I want to go catch my own dealing right away. Did I not get anything for it? Was that pointless? Is that just for text? Really? Really? You! Ugh. Ah well. Alright, so I fought you last episode, so my next trainer is you! I need a butter repel on. Story of my life. <laughs> okie dokie, and so dealing. Hi, and bye! I should say, also, in between episodes, I actually checked to see what levels I needed these guys to be for evolution. And it turns out Bell is actually level 35, so... That's one less level I need. Yep. I uh, tell you what. Boom. And then. Uh, there, there. There. Okay, hopefully the bag will stay on that. And these guys are actually. Fungus instead of uh, item Pokeball. Should I try catching one for the sake of it? No, why not? Can you survive an attack from Booter? <laughs> yeah, that should be the better question. Anyway, you. What a fun with Pokemon. Do, do you want to play with us? Not really, no. Parasol Lady Tihana. You have the Millite. Now, I also checked the moves of Booter. Now, if this was Black and White 2, I could have had the move 2 to teach it Iron Head. Sadly, this is not Black and White 2, so... Despite being a Steel type, the best Steel type move it has is Iron Claw. Or Metal Claw. Ugh. Lovely, ain't it? Yeah. However, it can learn some other moves, so it... I didn't realize you had to throw a shout. The fact that it does half, despite it being not very effective, is good. So yeah, he does learn some other moves, so... Yeah, I'll have him learn those moves when we get to it. Uh-oh, I lost. But it was fun, so I'm satisfied. Giggity? And that's a leaf stone, I'll never use you. Well, I could use it on the grass monkey. And you are Fungus. Again. Let's see if I can catch you this time. What do I need to use? That won't kill you. Hang on, don't I have a quick ball somewhere? Um, yes, I do. Here's hoping quick ball works. It's the first turn. It's the best chance I'm going to get. One, two, three! There we go. Yay! Fungus's data was added to the Pokedex. Lovely. For some reason, this Pokemon resembles a Pokeball. They release poison spores to repel those who try to catch them. Well, it didn't work against the Pokeball, now did it? I should say a quick ball. Bye. I will show you how energetic I've become just by being here. Giggity. Pokemon Ranger Richard. You sent out Minchino. 
I'm a Gino. Because my ex could drove. Yeah, Shane booted in the... Oh, that would have been something. Could I have gone through this route before I went through the... The Strikton Gym? Not Strikton Gym, uh... Vale? This Vale? Am I really forgetting the town's name already? Yes, yes I am. Ugh, good fail, I think. I could have had a mirror match with that other guy's thing. And again, Buddha still did a number on Excadrill. Yeah. Even as a drillber. And speaking of, can you please wake up? Thank you. Thank you very much! Eesh. Hey, Mulger, I'm staying in. And Rock Slide. Let's hope it doesn't miss. And... There we go. Level 32, I can finally switch out to someone else. Nature! I... If I use this, will my will one Pokemon be also become a attack? Cherry Berry. Uh, probably not. When we are surrounded by green, we feel more energetic, don't you think? Thank you, Mother Nature. Are you plum pond? Charge Stone Cave seems like a complicated maze, but actually it's a straight road. Oh, I bet I couldn't pass you unless I had Clay's gym badge. So technically, I could afford these trainers, actually. Uh huh. Well, herp and derp. Got an amazing Pokemon called Cobalion! Set to protect a Pokemon from sea, fire, and ancient Nova. If you can use a move called Surf, it lets you go over the water surface, maybe you see a Cobalion. I don't have Surf, so that's kind of pointless. Mister, here, have this! Shiny Stone! I'll never use it, but thank you very much, little girl. Oh, and here's a rest spot. Are you telling me that if I went two trains ahead, I could have had a rest spot? It's about the season to go to Celestial Tower. I have to ring the bell for my pillow. Oh, you have a pillow that died. And again, if you're watching the Nuzlocke comic, then that's... Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, I see, I see. And that was a complete and utter circle. Yeah, it's completely not a circle. Go! Not having. Not using that. Not yet. Okay, so that should be me going to Charge Stone Cave, I hope. Um. Hey, anyway, well, I'll keep Booter in front. There's gonna be electric types. I'm gonna need Booter out. Hey, then. Thanks for waiting. Hi. Looks like the nest of an electric type Pokemon called Garvantula. Don't know why there's a nest here, but if there's there are folks having trick problems, the gym leader's the one to fix it. Quackawak, take it out. And here's this TM. And this here TM's yours. It's my favorite TM. So you can teach it to all your Pokemon. Bulldoze. Now if that does more damage than Dig, I might actually use it on Buddha. This move does damage and lowers the speed of any Pokemon it hits. Some ground type Pokemon move a little slower than you'd like. If you use Bulldoze right, you can cover that weakness. I hope so. I don't know how good you really are, but if you think you can go, go wherever. And if you think you can do something, keep doing it. Do things how you want. Decide your own limits. I know my limits right now, it's my bloody PC. And money. <laughs> hey, so... Oh, shit. SHIT! Thoughts. Come. Who are these ninjas? I know then. We brought the one you wanted. When did you get ninjas? Ah, yes. That was the Shadow Triad, just now. Gets us enlisted them in Team Plasma. Apparently, they were the ones who prepared the Galvantula nest at the cave entrance. 
Charlestown Cave. I like this place. Formulas express electricity and its connection to Pokemon. If people did not exist, this would be an ideal place. You have been chosen, you know. Does it surprise you I said that? Nah, not really. Hmm. If you don't understand what that means, it's not likely to surprise you. I told Getz about you and your friends. After I did, he apparently used a sh shadow triad to find out about you. Have you been looking at my internet history? Jaren is pursuing the ideal of strength. Poor Bianca has faced a sad truth that not everyone can become stronger. And you are not swayed either way. More of a neutral presence. Which is apparently a good thing. Team Blasma will be awaiti waiting for you ahead. Guess just wants to see what kind of Pokemon trainer you really are. Okay. Well then. Oh. Yeah, I can't do anything with that, can I? Hey! Oh shit. Who is it this time? Hi, Bianca. Dragon! Did you notice? The floating stones move when you touch them! Right, Professor? Professor! Hi there, how are you, Dragon? This place is always charged with lots of electricity like Pokemon like. The electric charges react from one stone to another, and that's why some of the stones are floating. But not all the stones can be pushed. My father asked me to research Clink, which is a Pokemon that looks like a gear, because I'm researching the origins of Pokemon and the era they appeared. He knows how to get what he wants from people. Oh my. But I was already interested in this anyway, so it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, Dragon, this is for you. I got a lucky egg. That looks really useful in uh, between episodes. Giving that lucky egg to a Pokemon at all to hold increases the amount of XP points received in battle by a lot. Well, it's like two times, but having strong Pokemon will make it easier to fill your Pokedex pages. Okay. Same thing else. Dragon, are you working on your Pokedex? Keep it encountering lots of Pokemon. And you can keep filling on in those pages. And Fess's Bodyguard. Well, that's probably not necessary, but you have you have to protect important things. Yep, and that moves to there. So... There's a lot of doing that. Yeah. Paralyze heal. Oh, I wonder something... Oh, I actually don't want to find any trainers yet. That'll be a different episode. But for now, I really want this repel to run out so I can hopefully catch my next team member. Because my next team member is in here. There we go. Alright, so I just have to go around until I find it. And I actually have the gender picked, so... Yeah, the gender... I decided it would always be the opposite of uh, Tortugas. So if Tortuga was female, I'll get male. If Tortuga was male, I'll get female. And since Tortuga is male, uh, my Pokemon here is going to be a female. Yeah. So, which means I need to find a female version of this Pokemon. Now, why did I even get this Pokemon? I... Oh, could I have at least got it in there? That would have been nice. Hi, Clink. You don't have a gender, so you're not the Pokemon I'm looking for. So yeah, we've seen Ferris Seed, we've seen Clink. I wonder what other Pokemon's in here. I wonder. Come on, please let this be it. No. I'm not going to spend the rest of the episode trying to find the Pokemon. Something tells me I am. Something tells me I am. Oh, just for reference myself, there is a name rated Castelli City. So yeah, I think I'll try and catch the Pokemon that I want to get. It's not Baldor. And then... Yeah, female... abilities... I'll... try and get it sorted in between episodes. Yeah. Oh, come on. The only Pokemon I have yet to encounter is the one I want. Come on, you. Ugh. I can admit, if I wasn't using Buddha, Clink would be a good steel type to have. Yeah. 
please let this play the one. Oh, for... <sighs> Am I gonna have to cut to when I find the Pokemon? I think I might have to. Yeah, might be wise. Come on. Please. You know what, I want to check Cerebi. I'm going to check Cerebi. Because this is just annoying. Alright, initiate the next encounter, and let's take a look on the black white Pokedex. It is not you. Ugh, I swear on. It's gotta be here somewhere. It's gotta be. Alright, you. Details. Of Pokemon White. It's on every floor. Why haven't I seen it yet? Rarity 36, 39%. It's like a third chance of seeing it and I haven't seen it. Wow. Really? Really? Game? You want to show me at least the male version so then I can catch the female version off screen? Please. Game, please. Please let this be it. It is it! I want to catch a Joltik. And it's male, it's the wrong gender. Shit. A nerve. Oh yeah, and you sort out uh, moves too. Well, ability too. Right, it's so provided uh, you don't kill it. It doesn't affect Buddha. Lovely. Alright, now, seeing as you're a bug type, netball. So, yeah, I'm gonna be catching one of these off screen, cuz. What can I say? I want specific ones. And, yeah. I mean, how long did I take trying to find this one? Joltic attaching Pokemon. They attach themselves to large body Pokemon and absorb static electricity, which they store in an electric pouch. So it's like a tick in real life that takes blood from you. Uh, yeah, I need to figure out a name for you, so... Yeah. I'll take a look at your stats, take a look at your moves, and... Yeah, I will try and catch the right one in between episodes. Uh, let's see, back to Drift Rail City. And in the PC, what type of Joltek are you? What type of Pokemon are you? <laughs> you are careful nature. Uh, minor special attack plus special defense. Thank you, a special attacker. That's kind of. Ugh. Uh, so, Fury Cutter, Electro Web, Bug Bite, and Gastro Acid. Yeah, not much I can say to that. So, yeah, I'm going to be trying catching. I'm going to be trying to catch a female version off screen. Because that's just going to take too long. <laughs> so, yeah. And I guess with that, viewers, I will end this episode here. This has been Dragon of Journey going through more Pokemon White. In this episode, I managed to get to Charge Stone Cave. I found the location of my 50 member, a Joltik, which will evolve into a Galvantula. In between episodes, I am going to catch the right one, give it a nickname, and yeah, you will see her glorious appearance next episode. So with that, viewers, until next time.